morning. Namaste. What a pleasure indeed to have with us Laura James, all the way flew in from France <laughs> and she represents the International Early Years Curriculum and she's here for a two-day visit to train our teachers. So at Jaipuria, professional development of the teachers is very, very important because unless we train the teachers, I don't think so. Uh, we can achieve what we want to do, implement newer pedagogies in the classroom. And we are very excited that soon we'll be launching international early years curriculum for our nursery grade. And I'm sure uh, the parents will also look forward to it. So welcome, Laura James. Thank you. And namaste. Namaste. <laughs> That's a traditional Indian way to welcome you and very, very happy to have you with us. I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Um, so you, uh, you know, you represent the international early years curriculum mm -hmm. and it is like, uh, you know, you've been doing it all over the world. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, of course. So the international early years curriculum is now in its eighth year. Uh, and it is a curriculum from the ICA, which is the International Curriculum Association, uh, for early years children. So typically that means from two to six years, with a little bit of flexibility depending on which country you're in. Uh -huh. um, and it was created by looking at best practice around the world in early years. Mm -hmm. Historically, I think early years <coughs> children were tagged on. Yeah. There wasn't as much weight and importance given to their education. Um, but globally, we have realized the vital nature of their education. That uh -huh. It truly is the foundations of our journey mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. um, and if we offer high quality early years education, uh, we really accelerate the learning and experiences for our, for our children. Right. So the IYC was developed by looking at practice um, initially in New Zealand, Singapore, Sweden and the UK, uh -huh. who at that point had very developed early years curriculum which was already out in the field. Sure. I think since then we, we are always looking globally at different practice and trends and right. things that are popular so that naturally develops the curriculum and at its heart it is um, a progressive play-based curriculum so what that means is that we are always looking to progress and improve ourselves uh -huh. and the children. Uh, so it, it never stands still uh -huh. uh, and that we learn with our whole bodies so holistic learning so we are we are always connecting playing moving uh, we're, we're very rarely sat at a desk uh, uh -huh. it's always about learning with our whole being uh -huh. oh awesome I'm so excited you know so India has also progressed a lot mm -hmm. and with the new national education policy uh, suddenly everybody has realized that early years is very very important <clears throat> and uh, there are a lot of changes which are coming in our country mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. because I think I agree with you the foundational years are the so important because all the attitude behavior yeah of a human being are formed at that age and yeah. I think zero to ten years are very crucial. Yeah. So I wanted to understand how do you think international early years curriculum is going to benefit our students? So I from, from talking with yourself and understanding the progressive developments that are happening in India, uh, it was really exciting to hear that you have play-based now in yeah. your national curriculum, uh, which I'm envious of. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fantastic uh, development to happen, and I think the IUIC is therefore a fantastic fit um, for things that are happening, it sounds yeah. like, throughout all of India. Um, so for your children to come in to, to have the opportunity to take part in um, a progressive curriculum like the IYC uh, is fantastic. It aligns them with their national curriculum, but also globally with conversations that are happening yeah. all over the world. Um, and I think it's becoming widely acknowledged that the IB, which is kind of at the other end of international uh -huh. education, uh -huh. is, is increasingly successful in preparing our young people for today's world. We yeah. talk a lot about educating for now, but educating for the future as well. Um, it's very difficult to do that because we don't know what's coming up, yeah. but that's what the IB prioritizes. So then if you look at the IUIC at our foundation stage, all of those attitudes and beliefs yeah, come now. Yeah. So your children are, are really getting ahead uh -huh. by having the opportunity to spend the first two, three years of their education uh -huh. with that attitude. Um, right. I think it's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Um, you know, uh, uh, ours is a very progressive group where we are trying to incorporate all the global, the best pedagogies in yep. the classroom uh, because we really, really, the chairman really believes that each and every 
every child should be able to discover his strength, his talent. So we are grateful to Mr. Shishir Jaipuria, uh, you know, who's been really instrumental in yeah. taking the school forward. And uh, if I look at it, uh, what you said, I we, we had, uh, before we decided this, we had a thorough look at your uh, website and a lot of sessions with your people. Um, and what I realized, the most beautiful part of it, that it's in complete alignment with the national education policy, mm -hmm. which the government has made it mandatory for the schools to follow. And so it was very beautiful that the curriculum aligns with not only uh, Cambridge, which we have in the primary yeah. classes, but also with the uh, national curriculum, which is the CBSC. Yeah. So I think it's a perfect alignment, exposing the children to the best of the curriculum of the world. Yeah. So I am excited. I wanted to ask you another thing. You've traveled all over the world mm -hmm. in different countries and mm -hmm. you're an avid traveler. That's what you <laughs> shared. Um, I also love traveling, yeah. but haven't been able to. <laughs> but uh, what did you find? You know, What is the difference uh, between teachers in different countries, children, parents? How did you see education? Did you find any difference or are they just the same? It's such a good question. Uh, I, I think I commented yesterday to a colleague that the more you travel, the more you see the things that we are the same in and the things that we are different in. Uh, so we've talked a lot recently at the ICA about glocalizing curriculum yeah. so that when we travel, we see that some things are global. So the, the absolute uh, dedication of teachers is is true worldwide teachers yeah. are just amazing people you don't become a teacher if you don't have that core value sure. um and that love for seeing the, the the children develop but also the love for your colleagues and working yeah. in a team yeah. uh, that i see globally i think what you see uh, the differences and, and and where i'm so lucky to see um this this variety is how people take curriculum mm -hmm. and thinking and values right. and apply it to their own context and, and we've 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 come up with the term glocalize so you've got the global and then the yeah, local yeah, yeah. and that how important that is to do it but that is the skill set of the people in each context sure. so people like me can come in and we can train and we spend a fantastic time really thinking yeah. about how this curriculum works and then what they get to do is to make it relevant for their context. And things like, what are the core values for the school? Yeah. But further than that, what are the core values for the family and the communities? Because right. that is your school. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and that is the work that is done in the school. So I think that that's the thing I, I, I find is very different and unique yeah. to each school. And Absolutely. which is such an honor to experience when I travel. Yeah. yeah. Well, India is a vast country. Yes. We have so many states and, uh, you know, you've traveled from one state to another. It's like you're traveling to a different country, yeah. different language, different food styles, different dress habits. So it's a vast country. Yeah. Um, a lot of you are very happy because of the two days training which you are doing for our enthusiastic teachers, yes. passionate teachers. I have a great team and I'm very, very proud of them. And they are very excited to take, make this change in the early years. Yeah. What has been your experience uh, on your first day of training the teachers? I mean, how do you feel about it? Do you think it'll be easy for them to take it forward? And what are your thoughts? I don't... Uh, they, they, they were amazing yesterday because you're coming in and you're introducing a big change. Uh-huh. Um, and change is wonderful, but it's, it's a journey. Uh -huh. And... I think my experience with them yesterday was how willing and open they are. I uh -huh. think they definitely have a sense that they are in a in a privileged position to be yeah. training in a curriculum that will be um, so much fun and very joyful to, to yeah. um, take part in with the children, but also for themselves as teachers. I was sharing with them that having taught like this, <laughs> I find it very hard to teach yeah. in any other way because it makes so much sense. Sure. as a teacher sure. um, so they were very open to all the new ideas and information training is always <laughs> a lot of information yeah. um, and I'm excited to see today is more practical and I'm excited to see yeah. Um, yeah. what they what they do with that information now yeah yeah I'm very excited too because uh, as you shared that today you'll be letting them have the practical experience mm -hmm. of how they work on a unit and of course one very great thing which you spoke about is uh, the curriculum is uh, you know can be localized yeah. to suit the the country in which it is yeah. so that is I think excellent yeah. okay my last question okay <laughs> yeah. what is the one thing you loved about Delhi so far 
Oh, wow. Uh, so I've only been here, what, 24 hours, I think? Um, I, it's the people. I think um, uh-huh. everyone I have met has just been so warm and welcoming um, and interesting. Um, from AJ, who met me at the airport <laughs> at 3 a.m., um, to, to everyone I, I have met in the school and even in the hotel. So I think when you travel, that's the thing that stays yeah. with you, the people yeah. that you meet. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so a message for my parents, teachers, and the community in general. Um, it's been a real honor to come and visit your school. You have such a wonderful school with a wonderful um, heartbeat. Uh, you always feel that when you come into a new building. Every, everyone's smiling and welcoming and, and, and happy to be here. Um, and I really hope that the IUYC is something that uh, the families, the children, the teachers all really enjoy being a part of. And uh, yeah, welcome to our IUYC family. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much. And I'm sure parents, you're also as excited as we are uh, because because the teachers are undergoing a two days training and then they'll be having a two days of online training with her where she's going to be equipping them with all the things which are needed to implement the curriculum to the T inside the classroom. And I'm sure this will be a great help in boosting the confidence, the creativity, uh, the 21st century skills which we talk about in the classroom. And that is the aim at Jaipuria. Thank you so much and have a great day. Namaste and thank you, Laura, Namaste, so thank much you. for being here. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.